Welcome to our lecture online. Here, continuing with the concept of center of mass, we need to keep in mind that it has an, an interesting property. For example, if the center of mass is at rest, it will remain at rest, and when it's in motion, it will remain in motion at constant speed. So here we have the example where we have a person standing on one edge of the boat, the boat is touching the dock on the other side, the length of the boat is 10 meters, the mass is 200 kilograms, the man's mass is 50 kilograms, and now the man is going to walk across from one end of the boat to the other end of the boat. What we expect to happen is that the center mass of the system will remain in place. So here we have the center mass of the boat in the middle, we have the center mass of the man at the end of the boat, and then the center mass of the system will be somewhere over there. We can calculate where that is using the principles we learned before. And so we've determined that the center mass of the system, the man and the boat together, is a distance of six meters from the edge of the boat from there to there. Now the man walks across the boat, where, and the boat will then move backwards, the question is where will the boat end up? How far away from dock will it end up? And we know that the center mass of the system will remain in the same place. So using the same principle, we can say that the center mass of the system will still be equal to this, and it's going to be equal to six meters like we found before. But now notice that the distance to the center mass of the boat is going to be x plus five. In other words, this distance plus half the length of the boat. And the, the distance to the center, man, center of mass of the man is going to be distance x. When we plug all that in, we solve for x, now we see that x equals 2 meters, which means that the boat has now moved 2 meters as a result of the man walking across the boat. So in all cases, we know that if the center mass is located at some point, whatever moves, that center mass of that system will remain in the same place, and this is how that is calculated.